a number of things that happen with in, various individuals uh, uh, that make up the show from the weekend. Uh, we'd been talking about it for a while. Greg and I uh, were honored to be asked to be on the Drop the Mic tour with uh, Jason Crabb and Brad Stein. We had a great time this past weekend. I, I will tell a lot of you that are going to work today or whatever the case may be, I warned you that if uh, we were if it was coming near you and you could get there you get there and you didn't do it that the people that come in that win are going to be like man you missed it and it really turned out to be a, a lot of fun uh, a lot of great stuff went on it's always fun being you know on a tour with folks like Jason Crab is just funny without trying to be funny you know what I mean that that's what I like you know Jason's yeah. just personality <laughs> is just so when he when he got up there they, the way that the promoters set this tour up. There were opportunities for, you know, this is the new thing. I remember they were talking to us about this. Now if you go on a tour, they always talk to you about this new thing. This, this you, They all have different names, VIP ticket or whatever this is. And you pay a little extra, which means you get the best seats, and then you get to do some sort of meet and greet or something ahead of time. And mm-hmm. you know, maybe they throw you a little gift or something and all that to try to justify the ticket costing more. So in this case, we really came out and did a pre-show before the show for those people before everybody else was let in. And so when he started talking about the things that, that we had done to him over the years yeah. to the crowd, like like the first time he ever met us and he couldn't sing, and, and I gave him the, well, I'm sure Jesus was tired too. Right. Yeah. He told that one. And then he said, and not too long ago, that, that will of meat. Yeah, and he, and he, he started, still don't know what that. He was. started. He said, "I've never. I don't even understand what happened." I mean, he looked at me at one time and said, "Are we on the air? Yeah, are we going to do that again?" <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, <laughs> and st- hey, if, if you if you're going to sit around and tell stories of the road and you got Jason Crab with you, you might as well just sit down and say, "You, and, sir, you have yeah, the floor." You, you just give him the floor because I, how many miles you think oh, he's traveled oh, boy. with his Good family night. over the years? Well, we saw some things happen, and he would just look at Greg. Did he and, talk about the big farewell? Con- Concert we gave him. <laughs> Rick and Bubba say goodbye to the crabs. Well, and and, and I, you know, I this I didn't think this opportunity would ever present itself again. So I sang through the fire a little bit with him. Now he didn't know I was going to, nor did he desire that I did. Right. I find most people we do duets yeah, right, with right, they're right. not don't know it and don't really care for it. When I screamed right at the big crescendo, <laughs> look, I'm a crab. <laughs> and, uh, and 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 so it was a great moment to be to be a member of the Crab family, not one that Jason or the band I think desired. But it was um, so we had a lot of fun. But the, when he things would happen at the tour, and we would it would be maybe a little off the beaten path, and he would just simply look at Greg and me and go, "Happens all the time." You know, like we can talk about the various callers we've dealt with right. and things. If you've been a member of the Crab family and your daddy's had y'all on the road and the places they've been, and, and and then the whole things he's done by himself with other people, and I mean he has quite, quite a catalog. And, I bet he's and, traveled a million miles. Oh, gosh. don't you think? Yes, oh, and, at least. Um, so anyway, so we had a lot of fun with that. And Brad Stein, if you've never heard him, I'd forgotten how funny Brad Stein was because you know when comedians on the radio, all you get is just maybe a line yeah, here or right. there. Mm-hmm. But to watch him come out and do his thing, like you know, uninterrupted. Yeah. It's just he's just so funny. I mean, he, I noticed in the pictures he had blonde hair. I, that was kind of a new look. For yeah, that was a that was of course you know he he, al- a movie. he also yeah. learned and said to Greg uh, one time when his pitch for Compassion International went a little long, and he looked at Greg. And he goes, "Wow, it, it's really brutal in here." He goes, "Well, he just continued to do this the rest of the weekend." And Greg said, "Oh, absolutely, yeah, Rick mm-hmm. wouldn't let him up." Yeah, I claimed <laughs> that when he started his Compassion International pitch that I had shaved. <laughs> And when it was over, look. But anyway, and, and so 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 listen, listen. And he started. We started laughing. And she said, "You know, he just got away from me, so I couldn't. I couldn't get it reeled in." I said, "Well, I, I said the good news is some kids got adopted because they thought if they went out and, and sponsored one, you would stop." Right. But anyway, right. so so anyway, <laughs> the, whatever it takes. Yeah. But you know. uh, but, but but so and, and it just became the one liner oh, no. of the rest of the weekend. And of course, now he was really short that last night. But anyway, yeah. yeah. So. So so Brad did an incredible job and um and of course Greg, you know, and I got to cut up a little bit and him doing the MC and and, and we just had a blast with it. It was a lot of fun and um those that, that came out, I, I hope you enjoyed it. You know, there was there was a few things, you know, nothing has is is positive from top to bottom. <laughs> and, and it it was interesting to watch because Jason has a vast audience. I'm talking about Jason. Oh Brad. yeah. 
Um, and Jason on this particular album has about three songs that you might hear at any rock concert. And yeah, he, he, it, he turned it up. And he's got a band of these well, young yeah. guys out of Nashville that is just phenomenal. They're ready to jam. Huh? Yeah. And, buddy, look, I'm going to tell you this. I, I'm going to admit this. From my, now think about it, from my standpoint, I was backstage the first night, and Greg goes, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Crabb, and they do this little intro, and all of a sudden I hear, bum, 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 <laughs> and I hear the guitars wailing, and I looked at Greg, and I'm like, "Is that is that Jason?" Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, oh, no. there, there were some, honey, what's he playing? Some of our, some of our, sen- some of our seniors, <laughs> some of our seniors that love the Crab Family, mm-hmm. some, some of our seniors uh, were not overly thrilled with uh, with the some, new sound. with some of the newer sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we was- can't even hear Jason. <laughs> Them guitars are too loud. <laughs> and I, I was like, well, I, I, "Ma'am, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can really do about it." Can somebody do something? <laughs> we can't even hear Jason. <laughs> <laughs> that music is too loud. <laughs> and uh, and oh, so I, 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 I didn't know what that's to so do. Great. And then I'm helpless. I, I, ma'am, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Yeah. And then and then Greg's wife. We're gonna come back and talk about oh, this because it was goodness. a special Lisa. Well, how did how did Lisa like the new sound? She, loves it. She loved it. Oh, but, she, she pre-ordered the CD. She already knew all the songs. But got but got cornered by two of the seniors in the women's yes, bathroom. They right. wanted to know if she could do anything about it. Uh-uh. <laughs> could you tell somebody? <laughs> like, somebody do something. I can't hear Jason's voice. <laughs> and you could. I mean, I don't know where they were. Well, where I was sitting, the it was way, a really good mix. Listen, but the way they described it, when I went out in the audience, I expected to go out there and think, man, this thing's falling apart. Right. And I go out there and sit in the mix. It's just it it's, sounded it's, really it's, good. Well, it's, 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 it's what that kind of music would be like. Right. <laughs> but I love the fact that they wanted something done. And I was, <laughs> why would they think Lisa was going to do that? <laughs> she did good to get off the plane. <laughs> Can somebody oh, do okay. something? <laughs> we Jason. Greg, I'd really like to talk to Lisa about her first plane. Right. Right. Call her. We're going to call her. Lisa Burgess up next uh, if we can get her on the phone. Oh, oh boy. Um, I got to watch this. Lisa Burgess. Some people thought that she'd never uh-huh. flown on a small plane. No, she'd never flown on any plane. At yeah. all. And right. said she was never going to do it. Never. And my wife got involved in this of saying, yes. the next time Rick and Greg or Rick or somebody goes on these short trips, this is where you need to get yeah. it, get this out of your system. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Well, we've been talking about this past weekend. I know Bubba's got stories. Adler's got stories. Uh, we're, we're looking back on the Drop the Mic tour this past weekend. One of the featured moments, uh, and I remember us uh, talking at a family gathering uh, about Greg's wife, Lisa, and her fear of flying. She has never flown in her life in any, any, on any airplane. Never. Wow. So, so it was my <laughs> wife, Sherry, that brought up that a good way to kind of dip your toe in the water, she said, wait till Rick and Greg or Rick or somebody, I'll go with you. We'll do a, a short flight, um, uh, and and you can kind of get a feel of it. That way it's not very long or anything like that. And so two things happened this weekend, the perfect storm. Uh, Greg and I were needing to fly into one of the dates and back out, and Jason Crabb is in the lineup for Drop the Mic, who Lisa Burgess adores and, and just is a huge, huge fan. So we played the Jason Crabb card to get Lisa Burgess on an airplane for the very first time, and she joins us now. Lisa, hello. Hey. What a weekend. Good morning, Lisa. Wow, what a weekend. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. I'll just say this. Usually on Monday morning, I have to put my positive pants on, but I look, I woke up wearing them this morning. Oh. I have never been so excited. <laughs> oh my it was not about, not about the plane, but about Jason Crabb. Yeah, no, the plane you were pants. Well, <laughs> I like that. I tell you what, I'll tell you the, t- we the need heart- some of them around here. <laughs> yeah, we do. You don't have any no, extras, no, hey, do you? Greg, you need positive pants seven days a week, <laughs> not, well, not just on Monday. Well, I go maybe three out of the seven. Here's, here's one of the yeah. things that hit us. So we were using Jason Crabb as the, Lisa, if you'll just fly at the end of all this is Jason Crabb. Then it dawned on us, Jason wasn't in Birmingham. How are we going to get her back? Yeah. Uh, so uh, <laughs> we had nothing waiting on her back in Birmingham to get her back. Listen, so, I, I, we kept having, and of course, she said I wouldn't let it go, but I kept going, look, you do understand. If you say you're going, you have to go. We don't have a plan. If you, I said, and worse, if we get to Mississippi, you really got to come back. Yeah. We mm-hmm. may can get you home from Bessemer, mm-hmm. but it's going to be tough to get you home from Meridian. So, <laughs> so Lisa. I, I, had a, I had a plan. I figured it out myself because oh. I didn't know what I was going to do when I actually seen the plane mm-hmm. and knew that I was going to have to get on it 
you know, talking about it's one thing, but actually making it happen. I mean, I, I knew that it was going to be a struggle. So I didn't tell Greg, but on the way to Bessemer, I texted my brother who lives in Pell City and I said, okay, I'm, I might need you. If I can't get on that plane, will you come to get to, to Bessemer and get me and take me home? And he said, yes. Yeah. So I was covered. <laughs> I, I had was, a backup plan. I, I, I had a plan I did. I was Greg had already harped on me for two days. Don't you be no handle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there was no choice. We had to go. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah, that, that. I heard it. So, I heard it for two days, but I couldn't be a handle. I mean, God forbid that, you know, I might have got, you know, in need of a paramedic. That wasn't, that didn't matter to him. No. I, you just can't okay, make us late. <laughs> so Lisa, what when you when you drove up and you saw the plane, what did you think? Honestly, Bill, I I really don't know. I, I think I just kind of zoned out for a minute. I just kept I kept my focus on Jason Crab. Jason Crab <laughs> will be in Meridian. He will be in Meridian yeah. when I get there. You know, Owen he was, and he gave me the best hug ever. So it was worth it. It was <laughs> you know to just get to to hear him sing and sit. I mean, I literally sat there and just kind of talked to him and hung out with him, showed him pictures of my kids on my phone. And, I, I mean, it, you know it. <laughs> It was oh gosh, it was great. Yeah, all right. it was it was worth it. So, so Lisa, you and Jason Crab and your pasta pants all <laughs> made it to Mississippi. Yeah. All, right. all right, listen to this. So I get home late Friday, so I don't talk to Sherry at all. So we're everybody's asleep. So we get up on Saturday and we're all having coffee and I said, Hey, there's a chance that Lisa Bird Lisa Burgess may fly today. And and Sherry came alive. She was like, this is the perfect opportunity. I'm going in there to text her right now. Because I think <laughs> Sherry thought you were going to back out. She was. And, and, and so, I was. So did, <laughs> and so you got a text from Sherry. You said that played a huge role. Oh, yeah. I had already told Greg um, um, that I had. I said, well, you know, I think I'm just going to stay here and wash clothes. Saturday's my, my house cleaning, my washing clothes day. I said, I think I'm just going to stay here. I had already kind of just, you know, psyched myself out. Um, and then I got a text from Sherry and it was so, you know, she was all encouraging and, you know, the Lord's going to take care of you and this is your chance to do it. And, you know, make, but, you know, make Chandler proud, show Chandler that you can. And I thought, gosh, she's using the, my kids, pulling my kids. Yeah, in. she'll do anything I mean, to get you to do know. something. Trust me on that one. Yeah, she had her positive thought, pants on. She did. Yeah. yeah. She did. And I thought, gosh, you know, I got to step up and, and do Bless this, it. you know, but yeah, I, but I was, I had just kind of already shut it down. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But then after she sent me that text and, um, you know, and I just prayed about it. I mean, I stayed prayed up all week about it because it, 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 for anybody that has a true fear of something, I mean, it's a big deal. Mm-hmm. And and I knew oh you, God. Rick Burgess, because you can't help it. I knew that you were going to start going, oh, what was that? You know, and, <laughs> and, and so I, I was, I was trying to be mentally prepared for dealing with you. <laughs> you well, I didn't, that's wrong, Rick. Yeah, well, see, Lisa, you knew Uh-oh. what you were up against, so you prepared for and look, that's the world we all live in here. Yeah. Let, me, let me tell you the phases we went through that morning. Uh, wake up. I'm staying here. I'm going to wash clothes, blah, blah, blah. It's okay. Then she gets the text from Sherry. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get dressed. If I don't like the way I look, I'm not going. I'm just going to get my comfortable clothes back on, stay home with my makeup on, and wash clothes. They went to that. Well, if I get there and I see the plane, I don't think I can handle it. I'm not getting on it. We had all these different steps we got there. Yeah. And what was Greg saying to you, Lisa? <laughs> Well, don't you be a handle. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Lisa, we can't, when we can't wait around, we can't wait on you while you make up your mind. Now you can't be a handle. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love so, her, Greg. Boy. So, Lisa, when you get in, you're ready to go. They shut the door and you start taxing. How does that feel? Oh, Bill, Bubba, Bussy, <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. I'm gonna tell you right now. The fact that we landed in Meridian, Mississippi, and my britches were still dry was huge. <laughs> Every bump, your positive I was, britches. Right? I, I wish every you would have bump. seen yeah. every bump. She go. <laughs> <laughs> every bump. <laughs> Did you look out the window? No. Oh, no, he wouldn't look out the window. She shut it. She, she said shut it. Made, it made it worse. So, like it made you feel like you were on a bus, did it? And it was a beautiful day uh, to look out the window. We, yeah. we weren't going too high so you could see everything. I, I, yeah. I love that feeling, you know, because it, it's a little bumpy on the runway. And then when a it little? just gets when it gets smooth. <laughs> 
but you know, it takes a minute well, to get there. And it was a windy yeah. day. Oh, you had some jumping around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, see, Oscar, <laughs> Oscar, the pilot, gave me a heads up, and he said, look, it's going to be a little bumpy, which, you know, I really didn't want to hear that, Oscar. But he said, it's going to be a little bumpy because it's windy. So I, I, I thought, okay. But then when you start out and you can feel yourself, you know, I knew we were, we were going up, and then we kind of start going kind of rocking just a little bit. And bad thing was, last week I watched La Bamba. So I'm thinking, oh, my, oh goodness, my God. No. You know, Buddy no. Holly and Richie. Va- yeah. So that was all in my head. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if you should have watched Please it Please tell week. Bubba what, what you said because there's nothing <laughs> funnier than for her to be thinking about that and then get, get, get a name wrong. Tell, her, tell Bubba what you came to the conclusion. <laughs> it was serious. It was real serious. I, I said, I, I, I told Greg, I said, you know, I, I can't quit thinking about La Bamba. I said, so basically it's going to be like the three of us and a pilot. So I said, okay, so Rick's like Buddy Holly. Greg, you're Richie Balance. And I said, and I'm the Big Dipper. Well, it's I the, thought it was the Big Dipper, but it was really the Big Bopper. <laughs> she, she goes, said, oh, I, no, I'm the Big Dipper. I said, the Big Dipper. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, the Constellation? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm the Big Dipper. Funny. I but, thought that's what his name was. And then Rick had to make fun of me because I said, Richie Balance, like a curtain. Yeah. You know, I was nervous. Well, you know? you, 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 I, I'll be honest. Early in the flight, I, I, did, I thought you were going to melt down when you couldn't have the bumps. And then we got in the smooth there. <laughs> but then all I could think about is when we descend, we're going back into the bumps. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, hey, look, and listen, the landing gear came down. What was that? What was that? Of course, you know what I did. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're going to uh-oh. Hey, it'll be fine as long as you hear some noise right here. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, as long as that beeper doesn't go off, we're fine. (laughs) (laughs) But but you did good, Lisa. You You did, Lisa. How about this? We are proud of you, Sam. We We are proud of you. (laughs) Listen, on the way back, on the way back, we didn't have a lot of bumps, and it was dark, and, of course, you had her window shade down. Yeah. But the way back, you were a lot more calm. Well, I spent the spent the evening with Jason Crab. If that don't calm you, I don't know yeah. what will. Uh, Lisa, <laughs> Lisa, what what should have taken your mind off of it was imagining me climbing over Rick. Pulling the curtain and peeing in a trash can yeah. b- in, in the back. We yeah. showed them yeah, where well, you did that, and they can't believe it. I yeah. still don't know how you got back there. Oh, it, and it, I saw it. Either. It was something. It was something. <laughs> well, you can't you can't stand straight up in there. I mean, no, you, you can't. Got to no, you, you can't. Gotta stay bent over till you get your seat. Yeah, and that. But oh yeah, it 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 was it was scary. I'm not gonna lie. And you know, my friends are like, oh well, hey, now you can get on the plane and go to Hawaii. Uh, not gonna happen. I, my so this didn't cure the whole thing, it. Lisa. I'll be honest. What starting else? on a little one to me, it was probably I think tougher than the big. Ones. Yeah, big ones are not that bad. Oh, I clearly get extra points for that. Yeah. I mean, oh, I yeah. do. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. To get on that that small, mm-hmm, yeah. But <laughs> I, I I feel better, but I'm no I no way will I just start wanting to fly every single week. I'm not. Well, maybe, but if something came up, you had to. You could pull you, it off. Yeah, baby steps. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Proud of you, Lisa. Proud of you. <laughs> Proud of you. All right, you Thank did you. it. Some people call her the luckiest woman alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm headed to work with my positive pants on. Happy Monday. (laughs) (laughs) 13 minutes to the top of the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.